ông quỳnh chụp the president please be seated the court is now back in session we now would like to hand over to counsels for Mr. Nunti to continue putting questions to this witness. Counsel Son Arun, Mr. Lim Sat, I have a few more questions, please. Before we broke, uh, you told the chamber that. Il me reste encore quelques questions. Avant la pause, vous. You were the commander, or rather the dit chief of a unit. Que vous étiez chef d'unité. Unit 82. Chef de l'unité. And that uh, there were 130 people under your command. Et qu'il y avait quelques 30 personnes. At the same time, you say, Mr. Set. In que your Monsieur statement, toujours selon votre déclaration, was the commander of the battalion. Nonetheless, you just restated that uh, le commandant du bataillon. Mr. Sutter was the deputy commander of that battalion responsible for respective duties. Commandant adjoint du bataillon. At the beginning, I asked Au début, you whether you became an ordinary soldier when you joined the army and you won't uh, be que vous étiez promoted until 1974 que vous avez reçu une promotion uh, the en 1974 to the head of vous avez été promu à la tête de l'unité 82 est-ce yes, exact response Réponse. yes it is c'est exact Thank you. Question. In 1975, Réponse, oui. Question. you en 1975, left the Khmer Rouge army. Is that vous correct? Avez quitté Khmer Rouge. Est exact? Response. Réponse. Yes, it is. I effet, was transferred to a mobile unit transféré à une instead. Unité mobile. Question. Question. After leaving the military, Et après avoir quitté l'armée, after leaving your post as the chief of the platoon, you became Et votre a poste person chef in charge de peloton, of a mobile unit. Is my understanding correct? Vous avez pris my understanding correct. La tête d'une unité mobile. Exact. Response. Yes, it is. Réponse, en effet. Question. Do you still Question. recollect uh, the exact date when you vous -vous de la date changed uh, to work à for a mobile vous unit? Êtes passé à mobile? Response. Réponse. I'm afraid I don't remember the date. I remember the year. Je ne me souviens pas de la date. Je me Council, souviens de l'année. Thank you. Question. Enfin, Maître Sonaroun, merci. Lok ban kim riep cha krom sum kut tha. Before the co-investigators, ka promol manu say that about three thousand people were gathered and that 3000 personnes ont été rassemblées they were transported on at least 30 to 40 trucks transportées par 30 ou 40 camions how could you calculate the number of 3000 people who could fit in 30 to 50 trucks ce nombre de 3000 personnes qui auraient pu prendre place Dans un nombre allant de Response. À I didn't say that. I said about 10 Réponse. to 15 trucks. 
Je n'ai pas dit ça, j'ai dit de 10 à 15 camions. E3 Question. Stroke 364, Dans le document E3 barre 0024, à la page 0024-2422, French, et en français 0028-2197. You said this. Voici ce que vous déclarez. And the question number two. C'est la deuxième. Between the 17th of April 1975 and 1979, what you did and where you lived? You said that it was on the 19th or 20th of April 1975. You received order to gather police and soldiers of all ranks who had been affiliated with the Lonol regime, de regime to be executed at the Tulpochre in Kandiang district. You said you were asked uh, to wait uh, for the trucks uh, that gathered these people. The people were then transported to the provincial hall. Altogether, about 3,000 people were transported on trucks from across Bosat province. At least there were about 30 to 40 truck loads of people transported to this provincial hall. But this morning, you said that there were about 10 to 15 vous avez dit qu'il y avait entre 10 et 15 camions. Alors, qu'est-ce que vous nous dites Response. I will stand by my statement this morning Je maintiens when ce I que j'ai dit ce matin, c'est-à-dire de 10 à 15 camions. Then how many people would be gathered uh, or, or picked uh, up through the trucks to their provincial hall? Ces camions sont-ils allés ramasser pour les conduire Response. As I told you, I was not réponse. in charge of dit, gathering the soldiers or police. People, other people were in charge of this. D'autres question. But uh, in your statement before the co-investigators, as I already oui, cited from their document, you said you were ordered to receive que vous the reçu trucks that transported these people qui and that the gens. people were transported to the provincial hall. About 3,000 people were picked. So now, What I want you to be more precise, do you still stand by the figure you stated earlier, the 3,000 people, or would you change your comment or statement? Or bien, est-ce que vous modifiez votre déclaration? Response. Réponse. That's a rough estimation. It's uh, about 3,000. A little lower than 3,000, more or less 3,000 people. Council, if your statement were correct, Question. it would take uh, si several trucks uh, to transport them, not just vrai, a few trucks, as you said. Uh, do you davantage agree with de camions pour transporter tous ces gens, n'est-ce pas? Response. Réponse. A truck uh, could accommodate un camion about 30 to 40 people at a time. De 30 à 40 personnes à Question. La If you say Question. that um, a truck could si accommodate 30 people, 3,000 people would need pour 3 000 100 personnes, trucks. Il faudrait 100 camions. So, do you still stand by your Donc, statement that the only 10 to 15 trucks uh, picked these people? Il y avait seulement 15 à 30 camions. Response, I don't think uh, 15 trucks uh, would uh, be the correct statement. 15 camions, je ne pense pas que ce soit un chiffre exact. Question. 
Mr. Witness, Monsieur you Lieutenant, are now before the chamber vous êtes ici under oath. Au tribunal, vous avez Can you now say again how many trucks de did you believe you saw transporting the people at that time? How many people were there? Ces gens? Combien de personnes y avait-il I did not pay Réponse. great interest to Je the actual number of people gathered and uh, it was a long time ago. My memory does not serve me very well all Ma along. Mémoire n'est plus très bonne. Question. Question. I believe that uh, my question gives you some headache. I would like to proceed to another one. Je pense que mes questions vous donnent la migraine. Je vais donc passer à autre chose. These thousands of people Ces had gathered at the provincial hall before they were transported to Tulpochrey. And you said uh, these people, upon arriving at Tulpochrey, were executed. Except one person who managed to escape, and you heard about this through radio communication. Can you please tell the chamber how could you hear this radio communication? Was this radio communication or operate rather a gadget yours? Response. The radio communication Réponse. device uh, belonged to us, our unit. À notre unit. Question. Were you carrying Question. that radio que at that time vous or was it carried by a member of your unit? Ou bien Response. It was carried uh, by a member who told me about this. C'est quelqu'un d'autre qui l'avait en main et qui me l'a dit. Question. Then, under the same Question. document, you say this. Dans le même document, voici ce que vous affirmez. People who were affiliated with the Lonol regime were étaient liés au régime de executed. Ont été executed. And the executioners were also later Vous dites que sent par la to S21 for execution because they were accused of revolting against orders by Nuanchia. De s'être révolté contre les ordres de Nuanchia. I think I do not quite understand your statement pas bien when you cela. say that uh, the Khmer Rouge brought prisoners uh, to Tuol Sleng. Sleng and uh, you say that they revolted Vous against uh, the Khmer Rouge uh, regime. Can you be more precise? Response. Réponse. Simply speaking, these soldiers, the Khmer Rouge soldiers, later on were accused of betraying Ankar. The soldiers in the northwest, I'm referring to. Question. You said that Question. the zone betrayed Ankar. Did you hear this in person from someone, zone or was it a rumor? Trahi l'encar. Est-ce que quelqu'un vous l'a dit ou était-ce une rumeur? Response. Réponse. I learned uh, 
that the remaining members of J'ai the appris. soldiers of the Northwest in Badenbong came to talk uh, to me about this. Question, when exactly did they come to tell you about this? Response, in 1977, they did this. Question, were you no longer a military or soldier or member of the mobile unit at that time? And please observe some pause. Response, Response, yes, I was no longer in the military or mobile unit. Je Question. Plus you also added that those people Question. revolted against uh, Nguyen, uh, the Khmer Rouge regime and the uh, order from Nguyen Chien. How did you know Nguyen that uh, such uh, orders uh, were Comment rendered uh, from Nguyen Chien? Did you learn about this directly from Nguyen Chien or did you hear from Crape Wine? Ou bien est-ce que oh, cela vous est point. parvenu par la rumeur? Response. I heard from the soldiers in the northwest who lived in Barambang at that time told me. Question. Question. The soldiers of the zone told you about Les this. Can you tell the chamber who they were, qui étaient ces gens? what ranks they were? Quel rang Response. Réponse. They were in charge of the a platoon Ils étaient à la tête as I was. They Tout comme had to flee Badambang to Posat. S'échapper de Batambang pour aller à Question. Do you still remember the, past, the, the names of these people who told you about this? Du nom de ceux qui vous ont dit cela? Response. There was a man Réponse. I remember by Je the name of Vaughn. Un dénommé Vaughn. Question. Question. What did he tell you? Tell the court what you remember, he, what he told you. Que vous a-t-il dit? Response. He just Réponse. told me that the soldiers of the Northwest. There was a report that soldiers of the Northwest zone betray Anka. That's why the soldiers were distant for execution at somewhere near Bangkok. I don't know where Bangkok was. Devait donc être exécuté près de Bangkok. Question. You said you don't know the location, but you said before the co-investigators that the soldiers were sent to S21. Do you remember having said this? Vous rappelez-vous avoir dit cela? Response. Yes, I do. I Réponse. believe that oui. uh, when they were sent to Phnom Penh, they must uh, have been Je me suis dit um, detained at S21. Question. When you Phnom were Penh in the army all the way to 1979, had you ever known S21? Question. Avant 79. Avez-vous jamais entendu Response. parler de no, S21? I hadn't. I read books non. and magazines. J'ai lu des livres, des and revues. My deceased relatives, uh, rather, the magazines about uh, our old popular singers like Sin Sisamot and uh, Ruth Serai Sotir and I, heard, uh, I learned about S21 là, at that time when I read S21. the magazines. Question. So you talked, uh, you learned about S21 only when vous avez you de S21 left uh, or after the Khmer Rouge regime. Is that La my understanding of your Khmer statement. Est-ce bien là ce que vous dites? Response. 
I read some newspapers and magazines lu des journaux et des about Tool Slime il était question de Tool Slime. at a later date, and I learned Ça, about the existence uh, of this place ainsi appris at a very recent uh, date. At et that time, during the Khmer Rouge, récemment. I did not know where it was. Sous les Khmer Rouge, je ne savais pas ce que c'était. Question. Question. When you said Nguyen Chia ordered Vous the dit que purchase avait or how people would be treated by him was more or less things you heard from other people. Ce sont là des and that uh, que vous avez after the Khmer Rouge troops uh, fled to the border area, you learned more Khmer about Rouge the Khmer Rouge through reading magazines and newspapers. Is that correct? En lisant des journaux et des revues. Response. Pas? I don't understand Je your question. Je n'ai pas compris la question. Question. I asked question. you this question. You said that senior leaders of the military were sent to S21 or Tulsling, and I asked you whether you knew Tulsling yourself, and you stated si that you heard Tulsling of it, and you read magazines parler. bearing the names of Sinsisamot and Rosaraisati are old singers, and that uh, you learn of this place at a later date through magazines, not through experience. Ces revues Is that sur what ces chanteurs statement about que vous aviez response? Yes, after the war was réponse. over. Uh, I learned about this Après because Sinsisamot and Madame Rousseray Sotir was still alive at that time before the war uh, was waged uh, during the period of Question. In the same document, Question. you said uh, to le the investigators, document, voici ce que vous dites aux there were light offense vous dites y prisoners, des prisoniers those who stole pour des infractions some mineures, sweet potatoes par exemple, parce and avaient rice. And they were detained at Tkol Center. Au centre de Tkol. About 2,000 people were detained along with their whole families. Avec toute leur famille. Can you tell the chamber, please? How could you come up with this Comment number of people detained at Tkol office? À ce nombre de How did you know there were about 2,000 detainees? Comment saviez-vous qu'il y avait environ 2,000 détenus? Did you see them in person? Les or was that your pure speculation? Ou s'agissait-il d'une simple response? Conjecture I was de votre part. the president. Uh, count, uh, witness, please hold on. Council for the civil parties, you may now proceed. La parole est à la partie civile. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, I would Monsieur like to object to this question precisely for the same reason that learned friends uh, objected to my questions before, because it goes into the detail of the condition of the prison in Tkol office, and we agree that this is out of the scope of case 002-01. Um, 
In 1978, Khmer Rouge brought Khen and Takum and Chak to be executed at Swai At office. How did you know these three people were executed by the Khmer Rouge Comment saviez-vous que ces gens ont été exécutés par les Khmer Rouge à Swai At L'interprète précise qu'il n'a pas saisi le nom des deux autres personnes citées. Réponse. Center and I knew they were au centre et je savais que ces gens étaient détenus là où j'étais. Question. Question. You saw them being taken Vous away les avez vus se faire emmener your office. de Is votre bureau, n'est-ce pas The president, uh, witness, hold le président, témoin, veuillez attendre, la parole est à la co-avocate principale pour les parties civiles. Il me semble que pour les mêmes raisons, on et peut faire objection, nous sommes toujours en dehors du champ, nous sommes en 78 et sur des exécutions. Donc je fais objection, cette question n'est pas pertinente, elle est en dehors du champ comme les précédentes. So Counsel Son Aaron, la défense. I was asking that question because I would si like to question, establish the fact que je voulais établir as les faits. to whether the witness saw je the, the event happen. Si The interpreters are experiencing some technical problems and uh, it is not possible for us to interpret. Some are good parties are saying. Est-ce qu'on entend les interprètes One, two, three, checking. It works now.
The President, Council Son Arun, you may continue Maître Son Arun. putting your questions uh, to Vous the witness, but please be reminded that uh, you should not uh, stray away from the scope of the trial and that uh, it was counsel for the accused uh, who took issue with la the learned colleague qui on the other stage, uh, uh, across from the stage, who would be straying sens. from the scope of the proceeding. So since you uh, started this, you should also make vous sure that you are donc following, uh, you are also uh, vous not straying away from this scope. Council Sonarun, thank you, Mr. President. And the document is 364, the same document. Merci. Dans le même document, E3 bar 364. You testified before the co-investigators that you never saw any Khmeru leaders, including Ying Sari, Ying Tirit, visiting the base. You only saw Mr. Nguyen Chia on one occasion. Do you still recollect having said this to the investigators? Response. Yes, I uh, do. I never saw the other people other than him on that one occasion. Question. I may seek some clarification. You said Question. you saw Mr. Nguyen Chia on one occasion. Did you see Nguyen him in person or you heard from others that he was there? Ou avez -vous entendu gens vous dire Response. I saw him with my own eyes in Posat province, dans la province de when he was on his way from Posat to Batambang. Question. Question. Where did you see him? Où -vous vu? And what did he do? Que what, what was he doing when you saw him? And when? Et quand Response. It was in 1979 in Batambang province. Question. Question. Where were you that made it possible for you to see him? And what did he, what did he do at that time? Response. Il did nothing other than be on, being on his trip. Il était simplement en voyage. Question. Where did you see him? Réponse. And what did question, you do? Où vu? Or what was he doing? Et que -il? Was he Ré traveling, talking to people, sitting down? Se déplacer? Est-ce qu'il parlait à des gens? Est-ce qu'il était assis? Response. He was on a vehicle il était dans traveling un véhicule. to Batambang. Question. Question. Did you know Nguyen Chia before you saw him? -vous Nguyen Chia avant de le voir? You said when you saw him, quand vous avez dit you que quand vous vu, believed that it was Nguyen Chia, but Nguyen Chia, did you know him before you saw him? Mais le -vous avant de le voir? Response. Our troops Réponse. were stationed along this national road and we were told who national. would be passing on us. Dit, qui passer? Question. Question. When you were told that uh, the person in the car Quand was known here, or uh, that person was known here, was he in the car? Était-il dans la voiture? Response. Yes, he was. Mm, réponse. Oui. Counsel, thank you. Khiom Su 
Look, I would like to move on. Look. Question. Can I pass From 1971 through 1975, you were a military member of the Khmer Rouge. You were working with them. You came to know a lot of issues. Did you ever attend any training or meeting with any leaders in Bosat province? Response. No, I did not meet with leaders from the center. I met only leaders at the uh, sector. They convened a uh, meeting. And then after that, uh, the sector leaders would uh, pass on the information to uh, people down below. When they were holding meeting at the provincial hall of uh, soldiers and official of uh, Lonnol administration, do you know who among the uh, Khmer Rouge uh, leader were uh, presiding or giving lectures or talked during that meeting? Response. Takon from Ta the Zone Committee comité de zone. and Tavang, Ta also from Zone Committee. Comité de zone. And then there were also representatives from the Sector Committee. Comité Question. How about yourself? Uh, where were you at that time and in what capacity Question were you vous, there? Où uh, what did you do? Respond. I was Réponse. simply a security guard. Un garde de uh, I provided uh, security protection de around the province. Mm -hmm. Autour de la province. Kim. Question. I have only one more question for you. I just ask you for your clarification in relation to the military structure. And then after uh, this uh, question, I'm going to cede the floor to my esteemed colleague. You attended training. You must have understood the Khmer Rouge uh, military structure from your level, because you at that time were in charge of a, a platoon, and you had uh, around 30 soldiers under your supervision. Can you tell the court uh, above the platoon what was the hierarchical structure in the military rank, uh, can you uh, recall at that time? Response. As far as the military administration or structure was concerned, we had um, platoon comprising of 30 soldiers in the platoon. And in that platoon, it, there was a commander, deputy commander, and member. And in a squad, there was uh, 12 members. And uh, from squad, then there would be a platoon. Okay. Three platoon made up a company. And three companies Esquad, made up platon, a uh, battalion. Des compagnie, trois compagnie, non, okay. trois compagnie and dans three battalion. battalions made up a brigade. La brigade. 
and then um, uh, there was a higher a higher hierarchy above that. Après, thank you, Mr. President. I thank you, Mr. Mimchat. I do not have any questions. Now I cede the floor to my colleague, the President. Uh, Mr. Cope, you may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, Mr. Witness, I apologize to go back to the question of your age, but just to be clear. Monsieur le témoin, je ne regrette de revenir sur la question de votre âge, mais j'aimerais que tout soit bien clair. You Ce matin, le Président vous a demandé was, quel âge vous aviez. Et vous avez répondu uh, that you were 54. que vous étiez âgé de Is 54 ans. C'est exact. Bah, I'm... Yes, I did say that I was uh, 54 when I, I answered to the president's question. On a question from my colleague earlier this afternoon, you said that you were born in 1955, correct? Question. Mais en réponse à mon collègue, vous avez dit être né en 1955, n'est-ce pas? Bah, I'm sorry. Yes, yes, I did. Réponse. Oui, c'est ce que j'ai fait. C'est ce que j'ai dit. Do you know what year Question. we live in, Mr. Witness? Savez-vous en quelle année nous sommes? Nous sommes en 2013. Sure Êtes-vous certain donc d'avoir 54 ans? I am not sure because I have not done the calculation uh, beforehand. You also said that you were born in the year of the monkey. Question, vous avez aussi dit d'être né euh, Could it be that the year of the monkey was in 1956? Est-il possible que l'année du singe c'était l'année 1956? It's not audible for the interpreter. L'interprète n'a pas entendu. Le témoin devrait répéter sa question. Could, could you answer the question, Mr. Witness? Could it be that the year of the monkey was in 1956? Est-il possible que l'année du singe, c'était en fait l'année I, I do not really know um, whether or not it was correct, but I only je ne sais pas know si that I was exact. born in the year of Monkey. Je sais que je suis né dans l'année du singe. I, I understand, Mr. Witness, that you joined the revolution in 1971. How old were you when you joined the revolution? revolution? Then I was 21. Réponse. À l'époque, j'avais 21 ans. Mr. Mendes, you, you said earlier that you went to the to the pagoda school. Question. 
how old were you when you left the pagoda, pagoda school to join the revolution? Quel âge aviez-vous lorsque vous avez quitté la pagode pour rejoindre la révolution? I stayed in the pagoda um, when I was around 15 or 16 years old, and I joined the revolution when I was 21, 22. When you were in the pagoda school, Question. were you also Alors que vous taught à pagode, how to make calculations? Vous a-t-on enseigné le calcul mathématique? I didn't I was only taught uh, the Buddhist réponse. Dharma. Non, on m'a enseigné, on ne m'a enseigné que le Dharma bouddhiste. I did not study arithmetic or Je pas computing. Ou l'informatique. Ou la, le calcul. Mr. Witness, you were speaking about 15 truck, trucks Vous avez parlé de 15 earlier, and plutôt. you were saying that there were about 30, 40 people in a truck. Vous avez dit qu'il y avait à peu près 30 ou 40 personnes par camion. How many people were there, according to you, Combien totally in those trucks? Combien de personnes y avait-il en tout, selon vous, dans ces camions? I actually did not pay attention. I only uh, could come up with the estimate uh, number of uh, people on the car. So it uh, varied from car to car. It could have been 20, 30 on each car. I did not actually pay attention to counting the numbers of people because my duty was merely to guard the place. But if, 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 if you're correct and there were 15 si trucks, vous, si vous avez raison, 30 people avait 15 in the trucks, et 30 personnes par camion, then how many people were there in total? Donc combien de personnes y avait-il en tout? As I said, I did not do the counting. I will move on, Mr. Witness. Um, could you tell the chamber a little bit more about the fights and the battles that took place between the Revolutionary Army and the Lone Nol soldiers? qui ont opposé les forces Before révolutionnaires aux soldats de Lone Nol avant le 17 avril 1975. From 1971 through 1973, they actually declare the, the war. The uh, upper authority um, had instructed the people in the uh, lower rank to be prepared to go into war. It, that was in 1973. And in 1993, they waged war uh, against the opposing um, force up until 1975. My, my, my question to you, Mr. Witness, was whether you question. yourself and your Je savoir, uh, platoon engaged si act et votre actively platoon in combat with Lone Nol soldiers in the Pursat province. Les de Nol dans la province de Pursa. Of course, uh, my platoon was uh, attached to Posat province, peloton, uh, province, and we were on duty over there. 
c'est là que nous étions en fonction. But have you been Question. Fighting with long no soldiers. Vous have you been shooting your rifle? Have you were you wounded maybe in one of the blessé? combat activities with the long no soldiers? Avez-vous blessé ou été blessé dans les échanges de tir avec les soldats de l'Ontario? Yes, uh, we did uh, fight in with oui. one old soldier, nous, nous and Lundell. I got injured once. Uh, even now, a shrapnel, a piece of shrapnel is inside my body, and if I work uh, hard, uh, then I would see my body swollen because uh, I was uh, once wounded by uh, shrapnel. And do you remember which year you were wounded? You got wounded. Question. Et vous souvenez-vous en quelle année vous avez été blessé? It was in late 1974. And where was that? In Pursat province that you got wounded? Yes, I was wounded uh, in uh, Pursat uh, province, just uh, a bit uh, way down uh, of Pursat province. Was that in, in combat sud. close to the fortress of um, Tolpo Shrey? Était-ce euh, lors de combat proche de du fort de Tolpo Shrey? At the fort of Tolpo Shrey, uh, before the 17th of April uh, 1975, I was stationed over there, but when I uh, was wounded, it was somewhere else. It was not that uh, in that place. I actually, my duty station was uh, from one position to all the way to Mong uh, district near uh, Battenbong, and we had to actually uh, change our position from time to time. Notre position était jusqu'à Mong dans la province de Battenbong. Were you ever engaged in an attack de position. Um, with the revolutionary forces on the fort of Tolpochre? à un assaut sur le fort de Tolpochre avec les forces révolutionnaires? I, I was stationed there, and of course I uh, was engaged in combat uh, over there. My uh, troops uh, were fighting with them, and I could not even um, retrieve uh, the uh, dead body of uh, my soldiers because uh, they had been killed uh, when uh, we were engaged in fighting. So two of our uh, Soldiers uh, were dead uh, during the combat. Car nous échangeons des tirs, nous étions en plein combat. Deux de mes camarades sont morts au combat. Mr. Witness, you have testified earlier that you estimated that around 100 Lonnol soldiers, vous avez dit soldiers from the Lonnol regime, were stationed at the fortress of the Tolpochre. Could you tell the chamber how you got? To this number of about 100 soldiers. Pouvez-vous dire à la chambre comment vous avez, euh, comment vous en êtes venu à ce chiffre de 100? It was the number of soldiers who were stationed over there. C'est le nombre de soldats qui étaient commandos and en garnison là-bas. Il y avait des military. commandos et des militaires. But had you ever heard Question. in those years before 75 or in 1975 that there were actually 100, around 100 troops in that fortress of Tolpochre? Tolpochre? 
Uh, on the 17th of April 1975, I, uh, inter, uh, I actually went through this uh, uh, area, uh, through Tour Pochray, all the way up to uh, Posad province. So at that time, I uh, realized it. Now there were, according to you, about 100 soldiers at Fort uh, Tulpo Shre. Do you know how many soldiers there were stationed at Pusat Province Town, respectively, at Po? I do not recall. There were many fortresses from Posat down to Tour Portray. There were around uh, six, seven uh, fortresses. Uh, po Village Fortress, uh, Coco, Potivong, and then uh, the uh, fortress in the uh, provincial towns. And there, of course, there were many other fortresses. There could have been hundreds or thousands of fortresses. Are you able to give an estimate to the chamber of how many soldiers the former Lonel regime were stationed in the province of Pursat. Plus ou moins, combien de soldats du régime de Lonnol étaient dans la province de Pursat? There were Réponse. so many uh, soldiers Il y en all avait the way from uh, Mong to Coco uh, Stream. There were so Coco. many uh, Lonnol soldiers. I do not no, uh, I, I am sure there was no reason I could know uh, this because there uh, were many fortresses and there were so many soldiers of Lono. And I did not even know how many soldiers there were in each uh, fort. Um, so I, I, I cannot know how many soldiers there were at the time from Lono administration. As soon as you've testified Question. earlier about témoin, the commander and the deputy commander of dit. the fort in Tolpo Shre, Commander Rel, Pell and Commander Roon, what do you know about this commander and his deputy commander? I I came along to a portray and at that time uh, they told me uh, the commander of Lonnol soldier in Po village Paul was the commander he was a captain at that time in Po village I actually left uh, Tulpochray and I stayed overnight in uh, Po village uh, before I left for Posat provincial town. So Commander Pell was a captain. What else do you know about him? Was he, for instance, involved in the active combat with the revolutionary armed forces? I did not know how many soldiers were subordinated to him. But when they uh, convene uh, the soldier uh, to a meeting, uh, they um, actually uh, organized it and they actually told me as well who was the, who the commander was and who the deputy the commander was. And as for the weaponry, uh, they transported to different locations. 
I simply move on from, from one location to another all the way up to the provincial town. But do you know if Commander Question. Pell or his deputy commander si Rule were involved in adjoint active Rool combat with your combat platoon or other platoons votre, from votre the ou Revolutionary Army? Des, des forces armées révolutionnaires. Damn. On this issue, it's a bit uh, difficult. Uh, they were on one side, and I was on uh, the other side. I was uh, among the revolutionary um, forces of the Khmer Rouge, um, and they were uh, the armies of Lonol, and we were actually confronting with one another. So uh, the situation was fragile, and the fighting could erupt any time. So I did not know that much on the other side. Do you remember names Question. of commanders of the Lonol army, army higher in rank qui un rang than supérieur Commander Pell and Ru? In the Pursat province, commandant adjoint Roux, dans la province de Pursat. I do not know. I no, only saw um, their faces, and I also saw uh, their uniform. They had uh, some. Uh, military rank uh, with avait, them. For example, I saw a person wearing a uniform with a captain rank or with a major rank or so. But I do not know uh, who was who really. Et I only knew that uh, their fortress qui, qui, was in this location and in that location, but I did not know uh, the detail. The president. Thank you, council. I know Merci, that uh, you uh, have uh, further question, but Je may I ask you uh, how much time do you uh, envisage you will need uh, to put question to the witness? Mr. Copé, can you advise the chamber as to how much time you will need to put the question to the witness? Um, Mr. Mr. President, I'm afraid we will be needing the full a lot of time to us, so I think we will finish uh, at lunchtime tomorrow. With, with, bien sûr, excuse me, with, with 20 minutes, half hour for the Kyrgyzstan Pant. Uh, enfin, C'est-à-dire, nous laisserons une demi-heure, 20 minutes uh, à la défense de Kyrgyzstan Pant. President. Le président. Thank you. It is now appropriate moment already for the day adjournment. The Le chamber will adjourn now and the next session will commence tomorrow at 9 a.m. For tomorrow's demain. sessions, the chamber will begin by hearing the testimony of Mr. Lum Saad. Questions continue to be put by counsels for Mr. Nunti and defense team for Mr. Kilsumpan. Mr. Lum Saad. Uh, your testimony is not yet complete. Uh, we would like Monsieur you to return to the courtroom tomorrow by 9 a.m. Court officer is now directed to assist Monsieur with the vessel unit so that Mr. Lumsat can be properly assisted during the adjournment and that he uh, be returned to the courtroom tomorrow by 9 a.m. Security personnel are security. now directed to bring Mr. Kilson Pon and Nunchier back to the detention facility and have them returned to the courtroom by tomorrow, 9 a.m. Mr. Nunchier is directed to bring uh, to be brought to his holding cell only, where he can observe the proceedings from there through audio. The court is adjourned.